Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to uh, see how we can open serial monitor or get debugging information with DGSpark USB, DGSpark micro USB, and other products. Let's get started with this. You can get the code for a serial monitor for DGSpark by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Here is how you define a normal serial monitor with regular Arduino. You type inside the setup serial.begin the baud rate, 9600 baud or uh, bit per second, and also then you type your text serial print or also maybe inside a loop. After that, when you run the code, let me just connect it and run it. As usual, you just click. I'm within the 60 second time frame. So connect it, wait for this until it says done. Now it's uploaded. If I open the serial monitor, nothing happens. This is COM3 and we don't have a defined and we don't have a defined serial part for this. For that reason, it doesn't work, and we have to do it other ways. First thing, your, your system should have already weather built-in DGSpark boards. If you click on boards and scroll down, you should see all of this. If you do not see all this, I have another video explaining how you get that. The link will be below the video in the description, or just click, or just click here to get it. The first line here, it says dg include dgkeyboard.h. Once you installed all the boards, this is part of that. You don't have to worry, it is already included. This is a class and we use different methods. First, delay 300,000, this gives us a little time. And then dgkeyboard.println, we put our text this way. And I have put this, so when this program runs, it will print this line and this line. So. To do that, first open your notepad. This is a notepad. You can also open Microsoft Word if you wish or any other program that you can type. So this is my notepad ready. Your board is disconnected. Click Upload. You will see the 60 second timeout window. Now I will connect this. Once I connect it, wait until you see it says done. As soon as you see done, click on the notepad and wait. When DJ Spark boots, it will print the text. So this is the text that has been printed in here. From this, we have printed in here. In the board, disconnect, connect. When this runs, the keyboard will print it in here. You see, it has been printed. Now, if you need to have something in the loop, the same way, you can put your code in the loop as well. But this will be like crazy. It continuously will print the code. First, let's disconnect, upload, wait for the 60 seconds window when it says, now it has been compiled connect, wait for the upload done, click here and you will see that it will just print because it's a loop. Now at this moment if you click on your notepad it will be printed on the notepad. If you go here, it will print it on Arduino, which I'm going to get back. To stop it, simply disconnect, and it will stop. Now undo, control Z, so my code is clean. And you can do this the same way with your USB. I 
again upload now 60 seconds it says the window has appeared insert it and wait for the program to say done done click and it will print it for you and anytime if there is a loop and the program runs printing just disconnect it and it will stop thank you for watching this was how to use serial monitor for debugging with dj spark usb and dj spark micro usb and any other products if you learn something from this video please thumb up for comment and question please post it below the video i try to answer and reply for my upcoming videos if you subscribe and leave the notification on you will get updates i appreciate it